The fact that we cannot leave these haram things, the fact that we insist, I will never leave alcoholic drinks, I will never give up illegal sexual intercourse, I will never give up smoking hookah or pot or pornography. Why we have so many Muslims today saying we will never leave alcoholic drinks, we will never give up illegal sexual intercourse, we will never give up smoking hookah or pot or pornography, we will never give up dating and all the so-called pleasures associated with it. We refuse to give up these things because we have not yet understood the heart of Islam. For years, we have been bombarded with the self-righteous haram police, but never have we been exposed to the heart police. The fact that we cannot leave these haram things, the fact that we insist, I will never leave alcoholic drinks, I will never give up illegal sexual intercourse. I will never give up smoking hookah or pot or pornography. I will never give up dating and all the so-called pleasures associated with it. The fact that our worship has become only a burden is a sign that there's a problem internally. There is a problem with our sight. We don't really see the storm coming. We don't really see the Day of Judgment. We haven't purified and rectified the lump of flesh that the Prophet ﷺ spoke about. And as a result, the rest of our bodies, the rest of our actions, the rest of our lives have become corrupted. We don't really see Allah with our hearts and we haven't built our love for Him. We haven't really used the heart for the very purpose for which it was created, to know, to serve, and to love God. Remember that the first verses revealed were not about haram and halal. They were not about dating or drinking or smoking or pot. They were about the fact that as a matter of certainty, just as certain as I am standing in front of you today, that you and I will meet our Maker. You and I will stand in front of Allah and we will be asked, what did you love most in this world? What did you spend your life doing? What did you run after? Will it last? The things that you chase, will they last? Will they help you or will they hurt you when the illusion of this life has passed? We need to come back to Allah before it's too late. And often what keeps people from turning back is that they believe that their sins are too great for Allah to forgive. But to this Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks, بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم قل يا عبادي الذين أصرفوا على أنفسهم لا تقنطوا من رحمة الله إن الله يغفر الذنوب جميعا إنه هو الغفور الرحيم Say O oh my servants who have transgressed against themselves by sinning do not despair of the mercy of Allah indeed Allah forgives all sins indeed he is the most forgiving the most merciful